Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, I'm Brad. And I am Jazz, and we are two Aussie thrifters. And we've been buying and reselling on eBay for over five years now. We started reselling from our little tiny unit. Mm -hmm. And now we've combined with two other resellers in this giant warehouse. In today's episode, we're gonna show you some big changes that we've made to the warehouse. The new testing station. And we're also gonna share some of our bolo sales with you from yesterday, Monday. So let's get straight into it. Hello. <laughs> Got ours here. Oh. Check out our new little picking cart that we've uh, been given from Daniel. So thank you very much, Daniel. Custom. All right. First up is this pair of Katmandu women's grey hiking pants. We sold these ones for forty dollars. Originally, we picked them up for five. So nice little sale on those. Katmandu does okay. We prefer to pick up most of the jackets, but happy five into forty on those. Our next sale we actually picked yesterday. So here's a bolo item to keep an eye out for. Neon Genesis, Genesis Evangelion, I think that is. <laughs> Sold for 120 bucks. Daniel actually found that only like a week ago in an op shop, so very happy with that one. Uh, I think we paid $10 on the set, so <gasps> can't complain. That was quick. This is a cool little sale. This Beatles, the Beatles tape CD set. Um, we picked this up Beatles. in a big Beatles lot and we've sold a few items to start the <laughs> Records yesterday, so hopefully a few more of those sold. Sold that one for $32 and paid five original on it. So happy with that sale. Cool little item that we picked up in another bulk lot was this Dungeons and Dragons starter set. Mm. Sold for $60. We originally paid $5.93 for that one. So very happy with that sale as well. I love all the art on the D D stuff. This is a very nice sale from the estate sale that we picked up just recently. Um Jazzy and Kara went to this one. <laughs> this set of one to twenty-three foot rot flats sold for two hundred dollars. We were definitely not expecting that on that set. Um, they do sell well if you can get almost a full set, so very happy with that. Beautiful. We love picking up and selling these Asics Gel Noosa tries. They have dropped off a little bit, but still definitely worth picking up. These ones sold for $49. You can sort of grab them for five to 10 bucks in a thrift store. You just want to check the soles and the heels, make sure there's no like breakages or markings or tears. Or poo poo. It's a very cheap DVD going out the door. This one sold for $16.20. That one will go <laughs> untracked. We picked this up in a big pallet lot that we got a while back. So literally our buying on that is like less than 10 cents. So happy to get that on the door. Here's a better DVD set. This set of Justified the Complete Series 1 to 6. Sold for $44.95. So very happy with that one. Definitely prefer a set. And we have a Wrangler t-shirt. This one is in the new skewing system. R3D135. She's got it before I even finish talking. I mean, that's just so much faster. $44.95 on that one. Here's a cool little sale. These 2010 DC comics. I even spelled DC wrong in the title. It says DD. How do you spell DC? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they sold for $62.95. So very happy yeah. with that one. Cheers. Here's another very cool sale. This vintage 1985 BYO wine cask. Sold for 80 bucks. And it's in an original box, which is pretty cool. It's green. Yeah. We could have used this in house. Should have kept it. Do you have anything to show us? Yes. Um, Jazz sold that green wine cask cooler. And the same day, I sold this, which is exactly the same brand, same color. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it was like 55. That's so random. <laughs> this one did not last long at all. Mario Kart Wii sold for 22.45. It hadn't even made it to the SKU system yet. So we only listed it yesterday, so hey, very happy with that one. Hey, look, it's even got like some poo poo on it. Here's an interesting one. It's just an Elvis Presley towel. Sold for <laughs> 34 bucks. We did pick this up in a bulk lot, so very happy with that one. Random. Love selling these 35mm cameras. We sold this one for $89.95 and we just chucked a little fresh film in with it so the person can use it straight away. Nice Columbia titanium women's jacket sold for $60. I think Jazz picked this one up from Salvo's a little I did while get back. this from Salvo's and I got sucked in by the colours and I paid too much. Really good jacket. Don't pay too much. <laughs> Another really cool tee from our new SKU system. This bullet from our Valentine 2010 Fever Tour sold for $53.95. Three, three, two. Pull it for my Valentine. Here's an interesting little sale. This Mambo Loud men's long sleeve shirt. This is not like one of the bright Mambo Loud, so it's more like a Mambo not so loud. Medium volume Mambo. <laughs> sold for 80 and we paid 10. It only really sold for that because it had the tags on it. I wouldn't recommend picking up just any Mambo shirt. Um, just do some research and you should be able to look it up. Just look it up. And another little DVD set, the Thin Man Collection sold for $62.95. We've made some pretty big improvements to the warehouse in the last week or so, and my favorite is version three of the packing station, which is 
as functional as I think it could get. On each side we have our bubble wrap dispenser, easy peasy, uh, built by Brad. We also have our tiny little bins at the front now, which we've wanted since the beginning. No turning around to put things in the bin, just push it in, so smooth. Not only is it a packaging station, it is also a working station and a puppy station. And another huge addition that I teased last week from up in the window is the new testing station. Daniel has built this single-handedly and it has everything we need for cleaning, testing, fixing, anything that comes in. Oh, and we finally got a shelf for our excess boxes and like bulky packaging stuff because uh, that was just shoved under the stairs. It is actually Thursday now and we had some cool sales yesterday. So we're gonna show you a few of those and we might have some stock delivered to the warehouse later on. So two part episode. Here's the highlights. Now this one, I wouldn't really call a highlight. It's more of a kind of low light. It's a low light. It's Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> someone has snapped up these cassettes we're going to send them to the uk yeah so 2850 we had these listed for a while we didn't change any pricing or that but we have sold a couple of olivia newton john things in the last couple of days yeah. very sad aussie icon absolute legend i will say we did watch uh <laughs> olivia the other night just to relive some of their life so <laughs> have had cool. some uh grease soundtrack playing in the warehouse another cool item that just sold is this sony <laughs> black cube alarm clock so in its original box $40.45 uh, going out the door, so pretty happy with that one. Interesting thing about this is we went to Savers last night and we found a used one out of box. Here's another interesting one, this Phil Spector Back to Mono box set of three CDs. This really tricked me because I looked at the picture and I thought I was looking for a CD size. No, it's huge. $53.95 on that one, so happy to get that out the door as well. Really love selling Folio Society and this one went out the door for $51. So beautiful. And check this out for a sale. This set of the Simpsons Crusted Clown Show Set sold for $125.95. All right, just gonna show you guys what we picked up from that lot that just came in. So we paid $150 for all of this. There's some stuff in here that we can flip really quickly, like all this open Lego stuff. We have a guy that pretty much buys off for us straight away, so that'll go straight over to him. We've got this nice pair of Planet shoes. We usually don't do too much for Planet shoes, but these look like brand new condition. Um, they were reduced to $69, so I'll probably throw them up for about $50. Uh, we've got a couple nice books, a couple nice ink cartridges. Uh, 61 XL should do well. 67 will be a little bit slower. The XL seem to do a lot better. Got this Button Magic by Singer. Uh, I couldn't find sold comps on this, but $150 for the lot. I think I'm going to put that up for about $50. Some more Lego that can go to that guy. Some more Lego. Show you some of these books. We're stacking up the Harry Potters because we have like individual sets. If we can get a full set of this, the hardcover, um, that usually sells for about 100, 125. So we always keep an eye out for those. We've got a Wii, just the console. So we'll just have to test that one. Got a couple nice books in here as well. Uh, I think we've got pretty much half the set of this Forgotten Realms, which is nice. And then there's also this set here which is the Wheel of Time set. So we got, I think, probably half the set of that as well. So that was definitely worth a pick up. Full set of that goes for really good money. And um, we got a nice pair of Solomons. These are brand new with tags, so that's really nice. 40 inch waist, so they should sell pretty quickly. A uh, nice pair of 550s, big size. So that's probably about a $40 piece right there. This is an interesting one. This is a very interesting piece. So this isn't like a Wallabies one, it's like Pakaranga United. So I'm assuming some sort of home team, but it's probably from around the eighties, I reckon. Really nice rugby jersey. So I'm pretty sure someone will actually grab that just because of the era. Um, I don't think there's actually collectors out there for that individual club, but just the style and the date should help that one. So I think we're definitely gonna make our 150 on that quite easily. We do have a big stack of CDs in here as well, which I haven't sorted through yet. Probably end up loading them up in like styles. I don't think there's any serious bangers there, but probably paid around 50 cents a piece, which is nice. So you happy with that one? We got work to do. Just so you guys know, this is all like <laughs> excess stock. So yeah, don't look. <laughs> this is stuff we're probably either gonna do a garage sale with or donate. Um, so when we've been going through a lot of Daniel stuff, there's been stuff that he's had in storage for quite a long time. And this stuff just hasn't been worth us putting on eBay. Good stuff, just not eBay stuff. Might be okay for like Facebook Marketplace or somewhere like that. So there's a lot of mess here at the moment. We're looking to clear that out in the next couple of weeks to give us some space back. 
reality. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us the last few days. We've been super busy, but we're hoping next week to take you along for some sourcing content. So please join us again and let us know in the comments what was the best or the worst thing you saw today. And another huge addition that I teased last week from upstairs is the new test. <laughs> I was gonna say back.